Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I did my wedding makeup look. If you don't know, I just got married on Saturday and this is the look that I did. It is exactly what I did on my wedding day, so hopefully you like it. If you do, please leave me a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe, and thank you for watching. So here I'm starting off with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Fair Neutral as a base for my eyeshadow. And I'm just using a concealer brush to blend that in. And then to blend further, I'm gonna use my fingers. So to set my concealer, I'm going to go with the shade Strange from the Naked 3 palette and I'm just going to pack that on my lids really well. Going in with the same palette and using the shade Limit as my transition shade, I'm going to put that um, on my crease. So after I'm done blending my transition shade, I'm going to go over my transition shade with the shade Nooner and I'm just going to blend that all over my crease. So to darken up my um, outer corner, I'm going to use the shades Dark Side and Black Heart. Um, I know it's going to look a little bit crazy and um, you might think that's going to look really bad, but it's not, trust me. Um, I, you just have to blend those shades really, really well. So here I'm still blending those two dark shades with a different brush from Real Techniques. It's a fluffy brush, it's great for blending and I actually used the first two trans transition shades to blend that even better so it'll come together. So here I'm gonna do like kind of like a cut crease. I'm going again with the Tarte Shape Tape concealer and I'm just gonna carve out my lid, half of my lid, not the whole thing. And on top of that, I'm going to add a shimmery color and you will see it in a second. So after I carved out both of my lids with the concealer, I'm going to be using the shimmery shade. It is in the shade Deck Chair by MAC, I believe, 
And then I'm going to be cleaning the corners of my eye up so that my eyeshadow looks a little bit more sharp. Here I'm using the Lash Paradise by L'Oreal. First I'm going to curl my eyelashes and then I'm going to add the mascara because I will be wearing la um, lashes. So I always add mascara before I wear the lashes. Here I'm applying the falsies. I wasn't going to show the whole process because it took me a long time even though I've been doing it for a while. I don't like wearing false lashes very often. I don't do it only for special occasions. And you can, I don't really have a favorite brand. I just use, I actually got these off of Amazon. So um, you can really use any type of false lashes. And then after I apply them, I like to put mascara again and one little trick I do is I pinch my eyelashes with the fake lashes together and it'll blend them really well so it'll look like your actual lashes and not just you know your lashes and your eye false eyelashes separated here I'm using the professional to prime my face and I just blend that in really well um, it's actually a sample size because um, I had never uh, tried it before so I I got a little sample size to try it out and I absolutely love it so I'm definitely going to be buying the bigger version of it but it really blurs your pores and it makes your makeup last so much longer. So for foundation, I'm going to be using two different types of foundations. I'm going to be using the Revlon Colorstay in the shade 180 Sand Beige. And I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte in the shade Natural Buff. And I like to mix these two because the L'Oreal foundation is very matte. And the Revlon gives like a very natural um, satin finish. So together, they're just perfect and they work to, um, really well with my skin and it gives me the perfect shade so it matches really good um, with my skin also. So um, I usually go back and forth between using a sponge and a brush, but for this occasion I wanted my foundation not to look cakey at all. Um, I wanted it to look really natural, so that's why I used a sponge. Um, I think this is an e.l.f. sponge. I've had the Beauty Blender and all the sponges you could probably think of, but I think to me most of them are all they do the same job so that is what i'm doing here and i'm going to blend that really well um down my neck even on my ears pretty much everywhere because i don't want that really ugly foundation line that um some girls have when they don't blend their foundation too well
For concealer, I will be going back in with the Tarte Shape Tape. I only use a little bit because this concealer is extremely full coverage and a little bit of it goes a very long way, so you don't need a lot. And I'm just gonna blend that in again with my sponge and then under my eyes, I'm gonna blend with my finger because I get the best um, coverage like that and it blends the best. So I decided to bake my face for this special day. Um, I don't usually bake my face, but I do. I am prone to have very oily skin, so I wanted my makeup to last pretty much all day long. So to bake, I used the Makeup Revolution Luxury Banana Baking Powder. It's awesome. I definitely recommend it if you have oily skin types. Um, I don't think it would be very good for dry skin because it is a powder and powders tend to dry your face um so i'm going in with the anastasia Beverly hills contour kit and using the contour shade and pretty much like the three shades are are in the pan the dark ones to bronze up my face and just contour So I do like applying my contour and bronzing shades with the powder on, the bake on, um, that's just the way I like to do it. And here I'm dusting away all the extra powder on my face and next up I'm going to be applying blush. So for blush, I'm using the Laura Mercier um, blush in the shade Blushing Apple and I'm just going to apply that from my cheeks and I'm going to drive it back to where my contour is.
for highlighter i'm gonna be using the baked bronzer by heart candy which is not really a bronzer it's more of a highlighting shade it's like a gold light gold highlighting shade and i love it first i did go in to contour my nose a little bit back in with that brush that i contoured with and now i'm applying the highlighter So on my bottom lash line, I did apply all the eyeshadows that I used originally on my crease just to um, bring everything together and just make sure to blend that really, really well. And again, I'm gonna go back in with mascara in my lower eyelashes. So I did get mascara on my nose, sadly, so here I'm just going back in with a little bit of concealer and cleaning it up and um, going back in with highlighter where I highlighted on my nose. So for the final step, I'm gonna be adding my liquid lipstick. This is a ColourPop liquid lipstick. It's probably one of my favorites. And my favorite shade is Mid-Eye. So that is what I'm using on my lips. And it's just a pinky nude shade. <laughs> 